What's up everybody? I'm coming to you straight from Jackton Strong's very own backyard to make Jackton Strong's chocolate peanut butter protein popsicles. These little treats have about 100 calories in them and pack anywhere from 8 to 10 grams of protein per serving. So what we have to go in them is um, a cup of almond milk, which I have right here. And then we have some organic cacao powder, some protein powder, big old scoop of peanut butter and uh, then we have a few tablespoons of honey so it's very simple ingredients um, and very simple to make so all we have to do is we'll take our cup of milk and we'll pour it straight into the blender like so then we have our honey and what we're using for honey um, I may not have it displayed is uh, organic raw honey and we'll make sure it all gets in there. You want to take a spoon and scrape everything you can out of it. If you've never had these before, they're pretty awesome. Let's see. Get that last little bit. Alright, so the way we make our popsicles is pretty awesome. Uh, it's a brand called Zoku, and they have their own popsicle sticks, and they're reusable. It's all plastic. And you can see the, the holes, they're removable. Just stick your stick in, you let it freeze. So that's what's going on. Uh, so we've got our milk in, and we've got our honey in. We're gonna now take our peanut butter, slide that in, and I'll have uh, the exact ratios of peanut butter to milk. Okay, so uh, we lost camera power a couple times, so so if you see the edits, that's what that's all about. But we we've already got our milk in, we've got our peanut butter in, we've got our honey in, uh, we've got to put our cacao powder in and our protein powder in. So we're just going to take a scoop of protein powder. We like keeping scoops. That's what Jeff and Strong is all about. And then we're going to take uh, a few scoops of Take over here. Two here. I think that's enough. Yeah, it's about two. All right. So again, we got milk, honey, peanut butter, protein, cacao. I think I've covered it all. So it's all in the blender and. All we have to do now is turn this bad boy on. All right, so we've got our lid on. Hopefully it's on there good. Okay. All right, so let's get this poured very carefully. This stuff looks good. So what you'll do is once you get all this made, you can. Freeze it, and it might take a good six to eight hours till they're frozen. So you, you want to do this either before you go to bed at night, so you have them ready for the next day. 
guess we got about three out of that. Just place that on there, it'll snap in place. <laughs> 